you want to do a couple of things to prepare your posts. My posts are going to go against, uh, well you can see, there you are, six inch high boards. So what you want to do is measure on your post to right here, uh, six inches, and within that you want to try and get in three holes. One, two, three. Pre-drill the holes. You want to use a drill bit that's a little bit smaller than the size of your screw. It's a lot easier if you pre-drill holes in your wood. Um, it prevents the wood from splitting and it's just a lot easier. Once you get the holes in, you want to sink your screws halfway into the wood. That makes it easier when you're setting up. You can just set up the, uh, the piece of lumber against your frame and then screw it in real quick. Now, one mistake I'm making uh, not really intentionally, but because I'm lazy, is these are uh, three and a half inch screws. I should be using three inch screws. What's going to happen is the end of the screw is going to come out a little bit, which does leave a sharp point. Um, I'll be aware of it and make sure you know I don't cut myself. But you want to make sure that when you're screwing um, wood into your raised bed frame, that you don't leave any sharp points. So when you're doing something like this, instead of using three and a half inch screws, you want to use three inch exterior screws. And again, you mark the holes. So three holes will give this uh, piece of board, or this piece of lumber strength against the frame. Then you pre-drill the holes, and then you sink the screws in, and then I'll show you how to attach them and put the chicken wire on. This is a cucumber and melon trellis made out of chicken wire that I finished in another video but I want to show you how to make a trellis for peas. The first thing you want to do is, again, like I said, is keep in mind where the sun comes in your yard. The sun uh, in my garden is always to the right of this raised bed, so I'm going to put the trellis at the far end here, so when the sun is up, the shade from the peas falls onto the grass and not other vegetables. To make a pea trellis, it's pretty easy. Uh, you use jute or string. Jute's a good biodegradable fiber. You want about a four foot distance between posts and you just string up the jute every four to five inches and you can see this is about every four to five inches and the peas would go right along here again the shade from the peas is going to fall towards me it's not going to fall on to the other vegetables peas are a very fragile plant they need to climb so the best way to grow your peas is up a trellis and the easiest way to make it is just attach a couple of posts four feet apart and tie jute every four to five inches if you enjoyed this video please check out my blog at www.therustedgarden.blogspot.com and you can also check out my other youtube videos i have about 90 of them now thanks